Hey there friends, today we are gonna be doing a two year review on this Fox XL tailgate pad for mountain bikes. It's been a good and bad journey. I'll show you what I love, show you what I hate, and uh, we'll see if we can find something maybe a little bit better. Watch this definitely before you buy it. So first let me say overall I have really enjoyed having a tailgate pad. This one by Fox overall is a really good product, uh, but it does come with a few downsides that I think will need to be corrected before I get a new one, at least that one that's made by Fox. In fact, I just purchased a different kind of tailgate pad, so stay tuned throughout this entire video. After the review, I'm actually going to show you the tailgate pad that I just purchased and why I think it's a little bit better product. So let's start off with the things that I like. I drive a really large Nissan Titan. This is a 2013 Titan, and so it's got a fairly wide body. This is an XL pad, and so as you can see, it really does a good job of covering most of the back tailgate. Now, when the bikes hang over, you will actually will get a little bit of tire rub on the bottom bumper there, and that's really unavoidable unless you have some sort of guard that covers the bumper. I really, because it, it is just rubber rubbing against, I really haven't had any problems with any kind of scratches or wear or anything like that. I also love that I can get six bikes in here, and I've had quite a few when we do shuttle runs and things like that. So again, coverage, it does a really good job. Let's talk about the material. Uh, this has done a really good job of staying uh, durable without any kind of cuts or frays. I've kept this out in the weather quite a bit and it really has done a good job of staying fresh without any kind of deterioration. As a pad in general, honestly, I just really love having a pickup. I love the availability of throwing my bike over this really, really quickly, having it do a good job of protecting the paint. We have it zero scratches underneath the, uh, the pad here where the bikes actually do or would touch the paint if this wasn't uh, here. This actually goes over this kind of plastic uh, topping right here on the tailgate. And this is done, this is where you get most of the pressure kind of pushing down on the bike. And we haven't had any scratches or anything underneath on this uh, plastic piece as a result of having the pad in place. Okay, now we need to talk about the bad. Uh, the first thing I noticed was these dirt marks on this specific fabric. Now, my initial thought was, no problem, I'll just wash this off. But actually what you're seeing, this has been there for at least a year, even after scrubbing and washing it. So some of these dirt stains, depending on the type of dirt that you ride, may end up sticking to this material and not going away. So just be aware of that. Again, if I got out a power washer, maybe some very strategic cleaner, I could get this out. But I was surprised that even with just regular soap and water, that stain has actually stayed on there. The second thing that's been a major problem is this specific handle access panel. Now this doesn't have any kind of adhesive on the back to allow it to stay open in case I had a camera right here. All this is really doing is it's giving me access to the handle, which is located way down underneath here. So even with this thing open, I have to reach down into about this level and pull that handle. That's also where my backup camera is located, is right in this area. And so obviously this entire pad renders my backup camera completely useless. Now the other thing I've really disliked about this pad in general is it has three straps, one that goes right here, one in the middle, and then one over here on the right. They're supposed to wrap underneath the bottom of the tailgate. I'll actually link a video right here if you wanna see that installation process. And it's, it's really tight. It really kind of has the ability to pinch your fingers if you're not careful as you're wrapping that strap around. And then it comes back around here, and this is what I'm gonna show you, which is my biggest complaint about this pad. All of these straps, the little latches that the straps come up around have fallen off. So let me give you a closer look at that. So the straps are kind of supposed to come up from beneath the tailgate and then they connect into this right here. This little, there's supposed to be a little latch that's on there. As you can see, all the threading has frayed and those little latches have popped off. What I have had to do instead is just keep the middle one. You can see that the strap comes up from underneath the tailgate. And then I've had to kind of finagle it within this Velcro. This is the Velcro that actually attaches the, to the bike frame. I've had to wrap that around that strap just so this thing doesn't blow away in the wind. Now it is heavy enough, especially with bikes on, where it really doesn't move. But again, if you're driving without any bikes on, this thing could blow off super, super easily. So again, all three of these straps have frayed and completely broken after two years of having this on. 
Now, one of the reasons that might be is because I've literally kept this pad on throughout the winter, spring, summer. So it has gotten beat down with the sun heat. And then in the springtime, it gets rained on, hailed on. And then in the winter time, you've got snow freezing on here. So I really have done a very terrible job. I've abused this thing. I haven't really kept it sheltered like it should. Uh, it just, it, it takes, you know, a couple of minutes to put this on every time. It's much easier just to leave it on if I know I'm going to be riding every other day here in Colorado. Okay, let's talk about one last thing. And again, this is going to be something that is pretty common in most tailgate pads. Basically, if you ride and there's any kind of mud that collects on the bottom of your bike frame, you can see that it rubs off really easily onto this pad. So what I've been needing to do uh, after my rides is take a glove and just wipe down that frame. Because as you can see, if there's enough kind of abrasive uh, material that's on the bottom of your frame, you can start getting a paint uh, scrapes. That's actually from my fat tire bike. You can see it's a blue paint that rubbed off from the bottom of the frame. Now, again, this is going to be a common problem with most tailgate pads, but it'd be neat to see some sort of engineering that would make sure you don't have that direct contact in case there is any abrasive material on the bottom of your frame. So there you go. That is a quick two year review pros and cons of the Fox tailgate pad. Overall, it's a good product but expect that it, if like me, you're gonna keep this outside, it's only gonna last two, two and a half years before you start having problems just like I do. Again, I'm ready for a new one. So the first thing that I wanna solve is this back latch issue. I want something that's gonna allow me to use my backup camera. So let me show you what I found and see if we can at least correct that problem. So this is a brand called Cycling Deal. And this is a tailgate that's made for these larger trucks. It's got a much larger footprint than the Fox pad does, probably goes down at least another couple inches. And it's also got a nice wide body to cover the bigger trucks that are made nowadays. Cycling Deal is the brand. And again, this is just kind of uh, what I am seeing is a private label brand, meaning they order it in bulk from China. You'll get a lot of these that look very, very similar. And then the brand will actually put their specific logo right on the product. So this actually was only about $100 brand new. The Fox Pad ran me about $150 when I first bought it a couple of years ago. So prices overall have stayed about the same for the name brand ones. But again, you get a lot of these Amazon kind of bulk uh, produced pads that are now coming out and the price has dropped dramatically. Again, the biggest feature that I really wanted to look for was this huge uh, opening in the back flap. So once I open this up, again, you're gonna get a lot more room for my camera to be able to be exposed and get a much cleaner shot so I can actually use the backup camera. Also inside, what I've noticed is this is a really nice soft material that's actually going to be up against the paint of the truck. Again, to uh, prevent that abrasion of running a hard material against the paint. So that looks really nice. I did notice that there's no way to secure this flap back once you're driving. So I am gonna have to potentially put a little uh, piece of adhesive, maybe some Velcro, try to figure out a little engineering to make sure this flap continues to remain open to allow me to use that backup camera. But again, even to get to my handle, this is a much, much better experience. Now here is the back of this tailgate pad. You can see it's got a bunch of additional features that the Fox pad did not. It's got this cool little carrying uh, flap here, this little pocket that you can open up and put tools in, uh, other uh, potential cycling products that you want to have available but don't necessarily want to keep in your pack. Uh, so that's kind of nice, just to have a, a nice little pocket there. You also have these uh, basically raised kind of padded sections on the back of the pad. This is where the frame would kind of lock in. So as you can see, the, the bottom of the frame is gonna rest against these pads instead of up against this material. That, again, like you saw on the Fox pad, could prevent that abrasion on the bottom of your bike frame. Again, we will need to clean off any kind of rocks or mud or things that have stuck on the frame just so we don't get abrasion from this. But I think that's gonna offer a lot more soft of a surface for that bike to rest on. Again, these pads that connect on the top of the frame are really sturdy. They look like they're really strong and will hold the bike nice and tightly to the pad. Okay, lastly, let, here are the straps. This, again, looks about the same as the Fox pad. I don't see any major improvements over how they've designed this. Again, you're gonna have to use your fingers up and around the bottom of the tailgate and connect to this. 
Uh, so I'm guessing again, we're gonna have the same problems after a couple years if I do leave this out in the elements that this is gonna eventually kind of deteriorate and potentially fall off. So I may have to do a better job of taking this pad on and off of the truck. But uh, again, there you go. Let me go ahead and throw this on and let's see how it looks on the back of the tailgate. Okay, we got the new tail pad on there. Again, this is a small issue. I actually didn't like the really big Fox logo on the back of this thing. Unless you really do like logos, it was a little bit uh, large for my taste. I kind of like the simpler logo, even though this isn't a, really a name brand. Uh, one of the, again, the other thing that I'm really loving about this is, check this out, I'm gonna open this big flap up, and right there you can see my backup camera has access now to see out the back, and I have access to my handle, which is, again, amazing. Here's how the back of that pad looks. Again, you're gonna have some strap access that's gonna be laying kind of down in the back of your bed. But as you can see, these nice pads are positioned perfectly for the frame. I'm gonna go ahead and get a couple of bikes up in here and let's see how that straps in. Okay, so here is the Enduro back up in the truck. Man, I am really liking this pad so far. This is a breeze to get this thing in and on. I really like this sturdy strap that goes around the frame. This already feels like a much better product than what came stock on the Fox tailgate pad. So again, it takes a little bit of work just to kind of get that strap in and around. But once it's on there, it feels really solid. It feels like it's holding the bike in place. And again, all the material and everything feels like it's really great quality. Okay, so there you go. That is the Cycle Deals tailgate pad. I'm gonna say that on initial inspection, this is a much better value. Again, 100 bucks versus that 150 for the Fox pad. I'm gonna give this a good two year review and then we'll do another video on that one. Give the pros and cons and see what we think. So again, stay tuned. Friends, if this has helped, would you guys please hit that thumbs up button? Let us know we're making helpful videos and subscribe because we got a bunch more bike, truck, garage videos that are coming up really soon. Thanks so much for watching.